Alrighty guys, gals, whatever else you are. Uh, let's see, this is going to be a quick intro for you on the new chat rooms and how to stream your charts if you wish. Uh, as you all know, Skype has been a pain in the ass over the last few months. Like for me, missing messages, getting things 10 hours later. Some people have had connectivity issues and... So I decided a few months ago to go with a different type of chat room. Um, the first step before we even get into the chat rooms, if you want to be able to stream your charts to the room, or you want to, and you, I mean, if you have a webcam, yay, I don't want to see you. <laughs> Not being rude. But okay, so there's a website, Manicam, M-A-N-Y-C-A-M.com. I'll post it in the link. You just want to install this. It's pretty simple. Once you've downloaded it, right here, install it. What pops up is... Uh, let me find it. Is this? All you have to do is pick what you're streaming, and right now I'm streaming my desktop. So if we look, here's my desktop. Yeehaw! It has a couple features in it. Uh, you can zoom in on portions of your desktop that you wanna stream. See so if you drag and drop. I can zoom in on just right here, which the only thing you could see on the screen then would be here. So it lets you determine what part of your screen you want to stream. Um, audio, you'd need to go in here, add a microphone, and right here I'd add my headphones because I'm not going to be using my webcam. I'm going to be using my desktop with my headphones. So that's how you pick your audio. And those are really the only two settings you need. The rest of it you can play around with, but really that's it. So before you even log into the rooms, you want to get Manicam, install it, set it up so your desktop's there, pick out your audio, and select which portion of the screen you want to see, the whole thing or a selection of it, a portion of it. Pretty simple. So let's get over to the rooms. Um, I'm going to put a link to the rooms there. And once you get there, this still isn't completely set up. It's Sunday, so I'm pushing to have it ready for Monday. Uh, as a lot of y'all know, beta starts on Monday for Trading Access 3.0. That's why I wanted these up. So I want audio because you've seen my typing, and it is horrible. So let's go ahead and get logged in real quick. Password. Okay, so now first-time users, what you'll need to do is go to Register Details. Just put your username, password, email, I agree, and click and click it. Uh, once you do, uh, it will jump you, it will register you automatically. There's not, I have, don't have it turned on for an email confirmation or any of that crap. I want to make this as simple as possible. And once you do that, then you'll go up here, put in your username, password, click login. Once you've logged in, what you're going to see is there's me. There's going to be three rooms, lobby, trading access, one-on-one. -on -one. Now, up at the top, look, it says lobby. If you need to go to the trading access room, you click trading access. For me, it's not prompting me for a password since I'm an administrator, but it will prompt you for a password, which I'm going to show you on the other screen over here on the right in a second when I log in with my test account. Um, so let's log in on test real quick too. So test and password. Now right here it says select room. I can pick it before I even get in. Language English is all I have, and let's say I want to be female. So we can do login. Now it says private room login, so that's when we want to put in the password. And of course, that password's going to change since everyone could see it there. But just so you have the idea, there's the password. Okay, so now we have me and my test account in the room. Now, uh, let's see, I guess we can go over the features of the rooms. Um, down at the bottom left, we have smileys. Yay, whatever. It makes noise whenever you type something in, which can get annoying. I'm going to show how to turn that off in a bit. Next one, we have ring bell. I will probably disable this in the future. It's kind of annoying. Text options. This is where you can edit what your text looks like on here. Right now, you can see mine is blue. So let's say I want, I don't know, a green... I want courier and I want it to be a little bit bigger for you blind people like me. Once you've done that, you can test. So it's green, I don't like green. Add blue, let's make it one bigger. And 
test. Okay, so that's nice and big. So then you just hit the X's. Okay, so that's how you adjust your text size for you. For anyone else, you can't. At least you'll be able to read your own text, what you're writing. Next thing we got, avatars. I gotta work on this one, but you would basically choose the file you want to do, upload, and it'll change this little icon here. I'm gonna hopefully have that ready for Monday. Um, when I say hopefully have it ready, uh, I bought this package because it is open source. I didn't want a pre-made chat room. I wanted every the, everything in this is 100% customizable, so I can do whatever I want with it. So in the future, if we want to add or remove features, put links into the room, whatever, I'm not based off a template room that I have to buy. I can have unlimited rooms. I mean, I wanted something I had 100% control of, basically. Not that I'm a egomaniacal maniac or anything. I just I wanted something with 100% control that we could integrate with whatever else we want. Okay, so avatars. Now let's go to play SFX. This basically just plays sounds. Um, I don't know, snore. It has one little bug that I'm going to work on. If you see, once you play a sound, this still stays here. If you want it to get away, just click it, hit X. Alright, clear screen, clears the screen. Now let's go into user options. Okay, so allow private chat, lets people message you. Allow webcam access. If you have a if you're doing the manicam and you're streaming your screens, this will allow them to automatically connect to your screen and hear you. Um, if you are not connected to somebody, you can't hear them. I mean, as you know, in the room, if we're you're connected to everyone, some people, no names being said, babble a lot, talk a lot. This way you can control who you want to be. So, like, if you only want to be connected to me to hear what I'm calling out or what I want you to look at, you can connect to me. If you want to connect to me and two other people, you can. I will probably change that in the future, but for getting started so I can monitor server usage and everything, I'm going to have it so you connect to the person you want to hear and see. Okay, so play entry, ex so again, real quick, allow webcam access. You have to have that checked if you want people to automatically be able to connect to your webcam and hear what you're saying. You can mute yourself so you don't have to have them hear everything you say because God knows you don't want to hear what I'm saying all the time. Um, but we'll get into how to turn on your cams and everything here in a minute, but make sure, if not, if you don't have that checked, what will happen when someone tries to connect to you, it's going to give you a prompt. You want to let them connect. So it's up to you on how you want to do it, but if that prompt gets annoying, for me, I'm just going to have it allow webcam access so you can connect to me whenever you want. Play entry exit sounds. That's the doorbell when someone leaves and enters. I'm going to turn that off. Play new message sounds. You can leave that on. Play SFX. That turns off the lovely little sound effects. I'm going to turn that off. Your status is here. Be right back or away. That sums that up. Next, we have messaging history. If we go in, it shows the history. I have the room set up to idle you at one hour, and they will not kick you out of the room for 24 hours, since the one thing that we are lacking and that I have to work on is so that you can see message history. Uh, hopefully in the next week or two we'll have that up and running so you'll have a tab you can click to review the message history. But until then, I got you set up so you can sit in this room for 24 hours without getting booted. And let's see, what else do we got here? Uh, chat help. It's self-explanatory. If you click on it, it's going to tell you what everything that I'm going over t shows you. Pretty simple. Okay, next we got send files or share files. You can do a public share with the room or private send it to another person. I, there's two different ways to do it. This one I'd say do it public. You can also do it private in an easier fashion, but I'll show you that in a minute. And the last one we have here is about. If you click on it, it tells you information about the rooms. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so next step we got. I want to send a private message to somebody. You can click their name. And let's do it from the non-admin side so because you, you won't be able to see everything I'm doing. So I click a name, and I can do private chat or whisper. Whisper will not give you the full functionality. It's just going to send a message to them that will appear in the chat room. So if you do private chat, do test, once you do put it in, over here it pops up. Now if you notice, you have all the functionality of the chat room now with the person you're talking to privately. 
So everything's there. Uh, next step, what else can we do? Oops. Uh, view webcam, we'll get to that in a minute. View profile, share files. So you can share files this way also. You click the name, share file, if you want to share a file with them. And whisper user, just so you can see it. If you click whisper user, see down at the bottom, it says whisper to Brian and test. And uh, because I did test, let's see. I have a spam filter set up just in case. I'll probably turn it off or lax it up. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try hello. Okay, see so if you see it says test hello. It says the word test and hello. You have to take the whisper out or you'll be just sending it to them, not the entire room. The last thing we have down here is auto-scroll. <laughs> exactly what it says. It makes the room auto-scroll. If you turn it off, the room won't. So if you don't want it, if you're going to leave, you can turn auto-scroll off and it'll stop the room where you're at. And when you can just come back, you can review what you missed. If you leave auto-scroll on, then you're going to have to scroll back up to see what you missed. Um, the room stores 300 messages, I believe. Uh, I can make that more. I don't know. I think the max we had in the day was like 800 to 1,000 messages. So we'll see how that goes. Again, for the first week, I'm going to be watching server stats to see how this thing runs with the audio and video on. Okay, so let's get to the fun part. I'm going to click Connect. Now this is, means I want to share my screen or my audio, either or. Well, actually both. It doesn't have an option to turn off the webcam, but I'm going to get that too. There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of things that need tweaking, but I wanted to get this up and running so we can start working on getting it set up how we want. Okay, so once you're in, if you once you click Connect, you have an icon for webcam, microphone, and volume. So the first thing you're going to need to do is go into Settings. Now the first one it'll most likely be on is, I think it's going to come up on this one. It says Adobe Flash Player Settings. You want to click Allow and Remember to access your camera and microphone. Next is this. This is how much information can it store on your computer. I have mine set at 10 megabytes. It comes out to not even affecting it. So we go to the Microphone tab. You can pick what you want. I'm going to get an echo here for a second, but it's headphones. Hello. And there we go. Reduce echo. Woohoo. Okay, next. Now, if you have a webcam, you're going to want to go into this because you don't want to broadcast your face and pick Manicam Virtual Webcam. I have my webcam unplugged right now. Once you've set that up, hit close. <laughs> And you're ready to go. I have the audio off, so you can't hear what I'm saying. Now, someone wants to... Con if you look over here now, I have a little icon for a webcam. That means somebody, I'm up and running, and people can connect to me. So this is mine, and now this is the test account. So on the test account, I want to see what's going on on my screen. You go over here, you go to View Webcam. Pretty easy. This will pop up. Just hit Close Window. And right now it's set to small. I'm going to go with, there's large. Let's make it, this is large. I'm going to have to adjust the settings on this because it looks a little stretched. Medium right now looks like the best default one. I wanted to get something a little bit bigger than medium. But if you can see, it's going to infinity because I'm looking at my own screen. If you go to small, this is basically, if you just want audio and you don't want to see the charts, open it up, drag it off over here, it's out of the way. If I yell out something and you want to take a look at the room, all you got to do is pop it up to medium and large probably by Monday we'll have a bigger setting. Medium seems like the, the best one. I was looking at it with MT4 running and the charts are pretty clear so the quality is nice and this will keep it out of your way. I'm trying to think if I missed anything else. Uh, other than that, no, I mean, that's pretty much it. If you want to close the close it, it's right there. Oh, I did forget one thing, so let's do this. Let's do view webcam again. And close window. 
Actually, we don't even have to worry about that. Let's minimize that. Okay, so once you're connected to somebody, you have the same options. If you don't want to hear what I'm saying all the time, just click the microphone on my picture, and it will... you don't have to hear what I'm saying. There's a little bit of a timeout on the connect to the uh, to the cameras and the everything so that you can't connect, disconnect, connect, disconnect. Again, depending on what we need, we'll adjust that as we go. If you have any questions, hit me up on Skype or in this room, preferably now. And Monday we will hand out the password to the trading access room. If you want to play around, the lobby is always available. You can just pick lobby. It has no password required, so you can come in and try out the room. And just like this, here's the test account. You can jump to see. I don't show up in here anymore, but if you see... Okay, so the test account is in the trading access room. I'm over in the lobby room. I can still start a private chat up. I, it just keeps marking. I'm definitely going to have to do something about the spam. Okay, so let's say you're in the lobby and you don't know the password to the trading access room. Hey, let me in. So you can send a message from the lobby to someone in another room just in case you need the password. So if you don't catch me on Skype or it's laggy, you don't have connectivity to Skype, which a lot of people have been having issues with, just log into the lobby, click the trading access button, you'll be able to see the people in that room, and send me a message saying, hey, give me the password, hey, let me in. Pretty easy. Um, hopefully this will be better than Skype. I know we've had a lot of issues, especially with these 10 hour lag times and messages popping up later. And especially with me, since I'm on the computer, tablet, and phone, a lot of times I don't even get messages. If you have any questions, again, please hit me up or any issues, difficulties, let me know. And that is it. Have a great one. See you in the room on Monday.